wanabari kwa majina naitwa Fred Makajuz member wa MDD na member wa ODM uh, there is something that i want to talk about briefly about the nadco report we in MDD and in ODM at large we've always taken a position that we are supporting nadco report 100% and this is our view as MDD we all know that the constitution is both political philosophy and has also the legal view and a legal position and that our constitution should be a living being to the needs to the changes of a society and of the people before the promulgation of the constitution of 2010 we had many reports which came we had the wako report which was the kilifi draft and in that anticipation there was something called the full presidential system and full parliamentary system and having devolution too and being that we know that it is a game of compromise every time there are certain things which were achieved in the constitution of 2010 and there are certain things which were not achieved in the constitution of 2010 one of them we achieved devolution and we know how chaotic it was and the people who are not for change killed someone like Odhiambo Mboya Mbaye, who was chairing that committee. And the second committee, of course, was coming from my area, Dr. Duawiti. What they achieved in the constitution of 2010 was devolution, which was very key and it was being supported 100% by the party leader of ODM, Raila Molo Dinga. The compromise that they had because of the dark forces which were there was the parliamentary system. And I see as achieving it progressively in the NADCO report. A full parliamentary system is what we've not attained, but we are, going, we are headed there because it is a good way of governance. Having an opposition leader who, whose office is being funded with full infrastructure to check the government of the day is a progress of what we want to achieve going in, into the future we are also, also going to have other recommendation into the amendment of our constitution so that it can remain to be a living being and with the needs of the society and the people that it governs at that specific time so that is why we support the NADCO report it is also going to strengthen certain institution so that we are not going to have this thing of a winner takes it all after the election a winner takes it all is a very serious thing and when we were promulgating the 2010 constitution with a full presidential system we didn't we didn't have it in mind that kenya has got many uh, many clans kenya has got many society and kenya has got many tribes we adopted something from the west in totality and that is the progress that we are going to make that is why we believe and plead with the national assembly even to fasten and not to not to not to alter even any word from the nadco report let them support it in totality as is and other things we are also going to get progressively otherwise thank you so much uh, thank you so much. There is a doctrine of checks and balances. In a government, there is a perception that government is only the executive. A government has never been an executive. A government has has its three arms that is the executive the legislature and the judiciary all of them should work in checking the work that another independent institution does like the judiciary we know very well what they do the legislature they make the law the executive they go and implement and uh, in this situation that uh, other members of the uda today are oblivious of the law and they want to urge the president to cut to cut the to cut the budget of the judiciary in fact all the budget 
generates from the National Assembly. That is their role and their mandate. And if they so wish that they want to cut any budget from, from the judiciary, I think it is quite unfortunate. And that is why we still urge Kenyans that let us elect people who are futuristic and they can also go there and interpret things as they are. Read, read things, read the budget, go through paper by paper. They have the ability to read and write so that they can also serve Kenyans well. We don't let them, we urge them not to even interfere with a single cent of the judiciary because the role that the judiciary does in this country is very, very critical. The role that the parliament does is very critical. The role that the executive does is very, very critical. And we urge all of them to work interdependently so that we have the better services for the people of Kenya. And that is all that I can say about it.